Hi, my loves. So for math today, I'm going to be taking you to the carpet. But first, I just want to tell you what our learning target is. Today, our student-friendly learning target is I will identify and count pairs. Now, this kind of pair doesn't mean the pair you eat. This means two of something. Like I have a pair of earrings. Okay? I have a pair of ears. I have a pair of hands. Like when you go outside, your mom might say, grab a pair of gloves. One pair means two because you have two hands. So we're going to identify. That means we'll be able to see and name. Oh, there's two of that. That's a pair. And we're going to count how many pairs. So I'm going to take you to the carpet. All right, so I'm sitting here on the floor, and I have some shoes for you to look at. Now, these shoes are all mixed up. We need to put them together according to um, their pairs, according to the ones that they match. So where do you see a shoe that looks like this? Where do you see the other shoe that looks like this? They're right here. So I'm going to put these two together. You have two feet, right? So you need to wear a pair of shoes. So here's one pair of shoes. You can't just go and put on one shoe because you have two feet. So say one pair of shoes, one pair of shoes. How many shoes do you have in a pair? One, two, you have two shoes in a pair. Okay, where do you see the other shoe that matches this one? Yeah, right here. Here's another pair of shoes. Say one pair, two pairs, one pair, two pairs. And then these are my shoes, these two match. Say one pair, one pair, two pair, two pairs, three pairs, three pairs. So we have three pairs of shoes. Here's one pair, two pairs, three pairs. How many shoes are in a pair? How many shoes do you see in a pair? Two. Here's a pair, two shoes. Here's a pair, two shoes. So it's like we could draw circles around them. Here's one pair two pairs, three pairs. But I want to know how many shoes we have now. So let's count how many shoes we have. Count with me. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six shoes. Can you count by twos with me? Ready? Set. Go. Two, four, six. So we have six shoes, but three pairs. One pair, two pairs, three pairs. Does that make sense to you? A pair has two things in it. A pair of mittens means you have two mittens. A pair of gloves means you have two gloves. Okay, so if I wanna know how many shoes, we count each different shoe. If I want to know how many pairs, we count the groups of two. One pair, two pairs, three pairs. All right, I have something else for you. I brought these from home. They are clean, I promise you. I brought socks. Now we want to put them together, the ones that match. So here I have a pink. If you were here, I'd have you do this with me. I took these right out of my clean drawer, they're clean. So here's a pink sock, pink and gray sock. Here's the other pink and gray sock, okay? So I'm gonna put these together. So here's one pair. Now, look at these. Mr. Birch's mom gave these to me because it looks like my dog, Romeo. So there's one pair. I have two pairs. This is going to be a little tight here. Let me scooch that back. One pair, two pairs. These gray ones with snowflakes. Here's three pairs. One pair, two pairs, three pairs. Two socks and a pair pair of socks. My mother-in-law also gave me these, Mr. Birch's mom, because they look like Juliet. How many pairs do I have? One pair, two pairs, three pairs, four pairs. Now I have one more. I have my green and gray socks. All right, so now let me scoop that back even more. Count with me. One pair, two pairs, three pairs, four pairs, five pairs. 
My loves, I have five pairs of socks, but I want to know how many socks I have all together. Count by twos with me, it's faster. How many socks do I have, ready? Go, two, four, six, eight, 10. Do that one more time, ready? Go, two, four, six, eight, 10. I have 10 socks but I have five pairs. I can draw a circle around them. Two go in a pair, one pair, two pairs, three pairs, four pairs, five pairs. I'm gonna fold these back up. One pair of socks, two pairs of socks, three pairs of socks, four pairs of socks and five pairs of socks. All right, my loves, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the table. We are going to do our, um, our math worksheet and then you're done for today. See you soon for our math worksheet. Hi, my sweets. So we completed our learning target. We identified, we named the pairs and we counted how many pairs of shoes and socks we had. My sweets, you need to take out your packet. Please go grab your packet, and I have some things to show you. So here's what your packet looks like. On the back, you can take the paper clip off very carefully. This first part is your packet, and then you have your art project for Friday. You need to keep this in a safe place, okay? You have a book to keep at home called t -os, t -os, Toss It. Toss It. So I want you to keep this at home. Read this to a grown-up. This is going to help your reading. Please read it. And then our new Super Kid book for um, later this week. So these three things need to go in a safe place. If you have a folder, a backpack, um, somewhere safe, you need to keep these three things. Okay, so take the paper clip off the back. Please put those in a safe place. And then please grab your name tag, your pencil, and your crayons. All right. My loves, we're gonna go through just a few of the math facts. You're not gonna have to do all of them today. So please, before you open up, we need to write our names on the front of our packets. Very neatly and carefully, write your first and your last name. Write your first and your last name. Okay, when you're done, you can open up to Monday. Open up to Monday and then turn to the math facts. We're just gonna do half of this. You don't have to do the rest. We'll cross off part of it, okay? So open up to Monday. You need your name tag and your pencil. Please write your name at the top of your math facts. It should say 64A. Write your name at the top. And we're just gonna do these top two rows, okay? My loves, what's the first thing that we do for zero plus two? Circle the plus, what do we do next? Cross off the zero and it stays at What do we do for eight plus two? Circle that plus, plus means we're getting more. I'm gonna start at eight, eight's the bigger number. So everybody touch eight and hop two more with me. Ready, set, go. One, two, what number are we at? 10. Eight and you have two more, eight, nine, 10. Four plus two, what are we going to do? Circle that, 
plus, who's the bigger number, four or two? Four, so we're gonna start at four and we're gonna hop two more, ready? Touch four, set, go, one, two, six. We're hopping two more because that's what it says, six. Two plus two, circle the plus. Two plus two equals four, you got it. Six plus two, what do I do? Circle that plus. Who's bigger? Six, so I'm gonna start at six. How many more am I hopping? It says two. So touch six, hop two more with me, ready? Go, one, two, what number are we at? Eight. It's kind of a sloppy eight, sorry about that. Eight minus one, what am I going to do? Circle that minus eight and I lose one. Ooh, so we're gonna be going backwards. So eight and I take one away, ready? Go, one is seven. Gotta make sure you always look at this second number too. You have to look at your sign, where to start and how many are you taking away or getting more of. One plus four, what do I do? Circle the plus. What number should I start at, one or four? Four, it's the bigger number, so touch four, and how many more are you hopping? Just one. Four and you hop one more, one is the number five. Seven minus one, what do I do? Circle the minus. I'm gonna start at seven, it says I'm losing one, so touch seven. Take one away with me, ready? Go, one, what number are you at? Six, curly number six. Nine plus one, all right, what do I do? I circle the plus. I'm going to start at number nine, I'm gonna hop one more, ready? Go, one, what number are we at? 10. One plus six, what do I do? Circle that plus. I'm gonna start at number six and I'm going to hop one more, ready? Go, one. What number am I at? Seven. My loves, what you can do is cross off the rest of these. We're not going to do those. And you can turn to the next page in your packet. Please turn to the next page. And what you can do is start writing your name at the top. Please write your name at the top. at the top oh boy all right I will put up the date there you go my sweets all right you can start writing the date for January j j j what letter goes first in j, j, January? Now you're gonna write the J. Let me scoot you just even a little bit closer yet, my loves. There we go. Uppercase J, your J's are looking very nice. Coming down and up, nobody's making it look like a five. J, A, A, next you need letter A. J, A, N, mm, mm, mm. Letter N. Jan U. Need the letter U. Jan U Air. Air. You need the A R. A R. January E. That bandit Y. So that E sound. Today is the 
11th. So you need to write 11. Sometimes you guys forget your comma. Don't forget that. That's important. It leaves a space. It says, nope, these numbers are different than the back numbers. Yes, this is the date. This is the year. So you need your comma saying this is different than that. Now you can write your year of 2021. And today is Monday. My turn first. Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. M-O-N. M-O-N. So we're going to write that. M. O. N. M O N D A Y D A Y. So now we need to make D A Y. Monday, Monday, Monday. All right. What number do you see here at the top of your paper? A five and an eight make. 58. Holy smokes, they want you to write it three more times. So trace 58 and write 58 three more times. Make sure your five and your eights go top to bottom. If they're too short, erase it and do it again, please. All right, I'm going to need to switch markers here. This one's getting a little dry. Right, 58. Then we need to count by twos, so park your pencils. Your hands are empty. Count by twos with me. Take your two fingers and put them under the numbers like this. Ready, set, go. Two, four, six, Eight. So we need to write eight up here. There are eight digits, eight numbers on that line. Awesome. It says Sandra's mother bought her three pairs of socks. Whoa. All right. Her mother bought her three pairs of socks. It says draw the socks. Hmm. How do we do that? What does pairs mean? Pairs means... Two in each one. So if her mom bought her three pairs, what we should do is remember on the carpet we circled the pairs. So let's draw three big circles, three pairs. So watch me. Just watch me first. I'm going to go one, two, three. I want you to draw three circles like this. You're going to have to write inside of them so they can't be too small. Draw three circles. Three pairs of socks. How many socks are in a pair? Two. So instead of drawing something that looks like a sock, which is tricky, what letter does s -s -s sock start with? S. How many socks are in a pair? Two. So in each circle, you're going to draw two S's, two socks. So here's one pair of socks. We need to draw a pair of socks in this circle. Here's two pairs of socks. We need to draw two more socks in this circle. Here are three pairs of socks. One pair, two pairs, three pairs. Then it says, listen carefully, how many socks is that all together? Now we're not counting the pairs, we're counting the socks. So you need to count by twos with me. Count how many socks, ready? Go, two, four, Six, or you can count one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six socks. So you need to write the number six. How many socks is that? Six. All right. Now it says draw a line of symmetry in each shape. Color one half of each shape. So where's the line of symmetry for this pentagon? It looks like a house. Remember, a line of symmetry cuts something exactly in half. So both sides are exactly the same. Is this a line of symmetry? No. This top part is pointy. This bottom part is square. No, that's not the line of symmetry. Where's the line of symmetry? 
Yeah, right here, top to bottom. So draw a line from that pointy part. Be very careful, straight down. Make sure both sides are exactly the same. It says we need to color one half. So take out your crayons. I told you you would need your crayons. You can pick any color. I'm gonna pick light blue, color one half, one of the two pieces. If you color both pieces, that's wrong. You gotta listen carefully to my words. Color one half. One half means one of the two pieces. Where is the line of symmetry for the diamond? There are tons of lines of symmetry. Let's just go top to bottom again, okay? My sweets, take your pencil, go from the top straight down through that bottom point, point to point. Then park your pencil, take your crayon again, you're gonna color one half. One of those two pieces you're going to color. When you're done, you can put your crayons away. You won't need them anymore. All right. The next question, number four, says measure this line segment using pennies. All right. I can't get pennies to stay up here because they're going to slide off. But I have pennies right here for us to look at. So I want you to look right here at the table. I have your paper. This is what I use to erase the um, student-friendly learning target board. And I have pennies. So, my sweets, let me move all this. It's not distracting for you. We need to measure this line segment. Remember when we measure something, we start at one dot. And we don't cover it up. You need to be able to see the dot. There it is. So I'm going to put it right there. You can still see the dot. And then when I put my next penny down, I don't leave a space because now I'm not actually knowing how long this part is because I'm skipping it. So this one has to touch, but I can't push that penny because now where's the dot? Oops. Okay, so I have to be careful that I don't push the pennies. All right, I see the dot. Starting at the dot. I have to be careful not to push the pennies and not to leave any space. How many pennies long? If you have pennies at home, you can do this with. All right, I covered up the line. Count with me. How many pennies long is our line? Ready? Oh, ready? Set? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, my loves, on that little line. Right here, you need to write seven. That line is seven pennies long. I will do that up here too. When you have to do this at home by yourself, you actually have to use pennies. I have kids who try to draw them. I mark it wrong. You're not drawing and making up your own. Okay, you actually have to use real pennies. Seven pennies. All right, help me with the pattern. It says finish this shape pattern. Ready, say it with me, ready? Go rectangle, triangle, circle, circle. Rectangle, triangle, circle, circle. What goes next? Next would go a uh, rectangle. So you're going to make two short lines. And then you're going to make lines on the top. Rectangle, triangle, circle, circle. Rectangle, triangle, circle, circle, rectangle, triangle. So make a triangle. Remember, I make like a letter uppercase A. And then instead of going across in the middle for an A, I just go across on the bottom. Rectangle, triangle, what goes next after a triangle? After a triangle comes a circle.
after one circle comes a another circle rectangle triangle circle circle all right my sweets you're going to need your name tags all right seven minus zero what's the first thing i do cross i'm sorry circle that minus cross off that zero and it stays at seven Five plus one, what do I do? Circle that plus. I'm gonna start at five and it says I'm getting one more. I'm only hopping one. Touch five, hop one more with me. Ready, go, one. What number are we at? Six. All right, next one. Nine minus one, what do I do? Circle the minus. I'm going to touch number nine and I'm taking one away. So nine, touch nine and hop backwards one. Ready? Go. One. What number are we at? Eight. Awesome. Four minus four. What do I do? Circle that minus. Minus means I'm losing some. Four and I lose all four. Four and I lose all of them. Four, one, Two, three, four, oh, zero. Zero plus five. Circle that plus. Cross off that zero. And it stays at five. Three minus one. Circle the minus. Minus means I'm losing some. Now I'm going to touch three on the number line. I'm losing one. Take away one with me. Ready? Go. One. What number am I at? Two. Nine plus one. What should I do? Circle the plus. It means I'm going to be getting more. That's why we circle it. You just shouldn't circle it without thinking about it. You need to think about it each time. Nine, and you get one more, only one. Nine, hop one more. Ready? Go. One. We're at ten. Two minus zero. What do I do? Circle the minus. Cross off that zero. And it stays at two. And two plus five, what do I do? You got it. Circle the plus. I'm getting more. Now, where do I start? Who's bigger, two or five? Five is bigger. Five, and I'm hopping two more. So five, and now I have to hop two times. Ready? Go. One, two. What number am I at? Seven. You did great work, my sweets. What I need you to do now is ask your grown-up to upload um, your math facts. All you had to do was the top half. Upload your math facts, and then page 64A to the blue math folder. I love you. Thanks for learning about pairs with me. Bye, my sweets.